this is this is what they took her to the um to the criminal court in England. Literally, literally, the first thing first that thing. the solicitor who was defending me said was, "Well, I've seen the posts, and I can tell you right now that unless you make it very clear." that you don't stand with these T's, you will be going to court. And I was like, what? Now, the word T is terrorist. She's scared to say that in England. Right now, I'm losing a lot of money on YouTube. I had made only 61 cents in the whole month because my video are pro-Palestinian. I don't know if it's a, it's a coincidence. I don't really care about the money. I want to get the message out because I need to help uh, save uh, many lives in Palestine by being on this channel, and I hope you support. Please press like on this channel. For what? What is this evidence? Can I see it? And he was <laughs> like, it's mostly reprint reposts of, of things other people. And I was like, why am I being taken to court for reposting something on Twitter? Yeah. And he was like, well, it's all very one-sided, I have to say. And I said, well, you know, yes, genocide is quite one-sided. And he went, well, you've said nothing about how this all started. And I said, well, you know, I talk quite often about 56 years ago at the start of the ghetto ga of Gaza. Um, or are you talking about 76 years ago when, uh, when it all began? And he was like, I'm not getting into all of that with you. And I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> and then basically, yeah, they did their interview. And at the end of it, they said, quite simply, if the Home Office determine anyone to be a T, then that's what we have to say. Otherwise, we can be taken to court and um, sent to prison. And I was told that I could go to prison for five years for retweeting something on Twitter. And um, it was made very, very clear to me that I, I either condemned hummus or, uh, you know, if I condemned hummus, I might get my phone back. I might get, um, you know, out of trouble. Um, I might find my...